Hey there folks, my name is Noel and welcome to my channel. I'm a photographer for a local magazine called Breeze Magazine in Sabah, Malaysia. And today I'm bringing you guys with me to a food tasting in Hilton, Kota Kinabalu. So, as you can see right now, I'm taking a picture of a special dish in the Chinese community. It is called Yi Sang and it is a very vibrant dish as you can see. So if you're wondering what this event is, it's Hilton KK's food tasting for their annual CNY buffet. And we were invited to grab some pictures and do a short Instagram reel um, for our social media uh, to promote this. And here is Jess, she's one of the um, marketing team in Hilton KK and she's briefing us on what we can highlight for this year's CNY Buffet. This shoot, I'm using the Fuji XC3 along with a TT Artisan fisheye lens and an old X-mount Fuji lens. Um, it's the 50mm f1.9 lens. So I'll be alternating between these two lenses. The fisheye is more for an environment shot like this picture right here and the 50 mil for more detailed food pictures um, you'll see soon enough so before every shoot like this i usually go around and take some shots of the environment um, like i mentioned this time I'll, i'm using the fisheye lens just to um, get a glimpse of the vibe that people can expect um, when they do visit and eat from um, hotels such as Hilton KK. I just go around and take a few quick shots just to warm up my photography eye. So here you'll see me fiddling with the flash and the camera settings. I wasn't sure why it was stuck on the high speed sync settings so that meant that my flash couldn't go lower than a 16th power. So I found out that it was set on auto um, on the flash curtain so i fixed that and was glad that i could finally go below a 16th of a power for my flash and it's me just testing it out so here i am still moving around with the fisheye lens just trying to get a feel of the place and looking for something that is interesting and this dessert layout really caught my eye. I was quite interested in this um, arrangement of desserts right here as they were arranged in a repeating pattern so going back to basics having repeating patterns in your picture quite can be quite um, eye-catching at times I have now switched over to the 50 mil just to try and grab a few detailed shots of the food. I hope you guys don't mind the angle I'm shooting this from because sometimes a high up angle is just perfect to show the details on the food such as this example.
not the only ones uh, invited for this event as you can see um, behind the food there are other people or other influencers taking pictures so I'm trying to be mindful as to not get in their way in terms of the flash going off in their own um, videos or in their own pictures for example right now uh, they're trying to compose a shot for themselves I'm just trying to wait for um, them to finish so that I can trigger my flash and here's another guest uh, specifically an influencer and she has a fillet with her so in this case I'll try to take pictures of other foods or other things before I proceed with what she's um, recording right now because I don't want to get in her way and I'm sure she doesn't want to get in my way either So like I mentioned, I just waited her out and not trying to be in a way. But for this shot right here, it was kind of hard for me. Because as you can guess, um, both my lenses are manual focus only. So it was kind of hard for the focus peaking to kick in. But I still got the shot anyway. Sometimes you really need to move around and just notice the arrangement of decorations um, around the food that the chefs have made. In this case, I moved around quite a lot and I just got uh, the perfect angle for the picture. Here I notice a random leaf um, on the beef. So I just moved it and put it aside. However, on the next dish, I didn't really notice the leaf on the dish itself, but I guess it makes for a very interesting picture nonetheless. Again, as you move around, you will notice some great details. For example, the chef just finished um, deep frying these fritters. Now I'm just testing out an angle for a picture that I imagine would look good. Um, it was okay but I wasn't really satisfied with how I composed it so you can see that I just moved like a few feet, uh, just took a few steps to the left and got the picture that I want with the glasses arranged in a pattern like this. I really liked how the chefs at Hilton KK arranged their desserts um, in a uniform and repeating pattern. It gives a lot of chances for me to create a good composition, for example like this 45 degree angle picture. But what I found really um, interesting was 
if I just move a bit lower, I could uh, get a picture like this. For this other dessert, there was a piece of text that was displayed on the dessert itself so going for a higher angle really worked. Here's another high angle shot but you'll notice that my flash is pointed at the ceiling. It's so that I can have a really soft bounce light to hit the desserts. Let me speed through this section right here because first of all I do need to take good pictures of these food from the buffet trays but they're not all my favorite pictures or even pictures to take. I still try to do a good job trying to compose and trying to edit the pictures nicely so that people will be attracted to the um, food. After the fish, I noticed there was a lamb shoulder, I think, behind a plexiglass um, panel, so I had to bend down to get my favorite shot of the night. At this point of the event, we were told that the main Yisang ceremony was about to begin so I switched back to the fisheye and just went around the place to get some more um, environmental shots of people grabbing food, enjoying themselves just before the main event took place. Here I saw a perfect opportunity to take a picture of the chef preparing a pastry but I noticed that the guy in green was in the composition so I waited it out and found a different angle to take a nice little picture of the chef instead. Now it's time for the main event, you'll notice that I'm setting up my phone to take a video of the Yisang ceremony. 
that's gonna start in just a bit. I was really tempted to um, do burst shots for the ceremony but um, the flash that I'm using really doesn't work that well um, with burst shots because it has a slow recharge cycle so I opted for single shots um, for the pictures you'll see in a bit. And that's it for this event. If you haven't, subscribe for more videos like this. See you guys in the next one.